what's up everybody once again it's brand man sean and i'm super excited to drop this snippet right here from my interview with tj chapman the manager of trap beckham bob he broke i'm sprung he's done so much in music but this clip right here isn't about all that necessarily this clip is about something that he learned being a part of the music industry I'll add a little bit more at the end. Learning, learning that stuff, it, it, it taught me how to better deal with people and how to better deal in situations where I feel a person isn't right. Mm. You know, you don't necessarily have to say something just because you see it. Um, when all situations, always understand what is it that you want to achieve from this relationship or what you want to get out of this relationship or business venture or partnership or whatever it is. And if for whatever reason you realize that those people ain't necessarily right and they um and they are trying to take advantage or get over on you, you know, as long as you realize it and can see it, you can still use the situation to your advantage and you can play it against them. Um when you don't say nothing, they get more and more careless uh with it because they don't think that you're smart enough to figure anything out. And uh, so I've, I've, I've used plenty of situations to my benefit that I knew wasn't right for me just because I knew what I was dealing with going in and what I wanted to achieve and get out of it. Mm. Mm. So that's like really looking at situations where, you know, we look at fame or capital gain. Those are like the two main measurements that people look at. But you're saying, you know, it might be a, a scenario that might not be great financially or a good look, right. quote unquote, mm -hmm. but there's some way that you see it could benefit you, whether it's a relationship or whether it's just knowledge that you learn, something like that. Or oh, put you in position to make that next move or whatever it is. You know, at, at the end of the day, you got to remember it's, it's, it's really a game of chess. Mm -hmm. And you got to uh, uh, be strategic with all your moves. Um, I mean, man, we've played chess so many times, not, not even in this situation, just in situations with the labels and everything else. Um, but but like you got to be really smart and you got to think a lot of this stuff out and understand how it works so you can best benefit. Mm. So, I mean, when I hear something like that and being able to take advantage of those those situations on the way that might not look good in the short term, you really have to understand what your goal is, your greater goal is to even do something like that. Right. You got to see the big picture. And, and, and I tell you, that's the biggest problem a great majority have. They, they so small minded and short sighted mm -hmm. um, that they don't see it. They don't even understand what the big picture is. They're so caught up in perception and how they perceive things to be from what they think other people are doing that they're just so wrong uh, uh, and misguided to begin with. That's the truth. Whether you like it or not, straight up, the music industry is like Game of Thrones. It's chess. You have to be strategic about how you go about your career path and understand that you have to know where you want to go to even understand how you want to use the pieces that are right in front of you. Just like TJ alluded to, there might be some situations that aren't necessarily super beneficial for you because somebody might be trying to screw you over. But if you understand that you want something greater than that, that might allow you to overcome the short term dealings with whoever that person is. And it's like, OK, yes, they might rip me off for all my money here but it'll put me in a position there and i'll take note that there's somebody who ripped people off or at least they ripped me off it's not that different from the concept of hey i want to have my own business but i gotta save up for an initial investment of ten thousand twenty thousand dollars so i'm gonna work this job that i don't necessarily want to work it's the exact same concept you know where you want to go save up to have your own business you don't like this job you hate it for various reasons but you are able to deal with those reasons because you have a vision that's bigger than that short-term circumstance. You can't take it too much deeper than that a lot of times at the end of the day because of course there's going to be sketchy people or people you don't like or necessarily love. Of course the goal is to work with people you do like and do want to support but there might be some things that aren't that cut and dry here and there. But that's not even why we're talking about this concept. The biggest reason that this concept is so important is for you to understand that even when things don't look right for you, if you can figure out how to flip that situation where it does work for you, you can still win. Those people who are doing you wrong, hey, they might think they're getting over on you. But at the end of the day, if you keep this in mind, you can consciously make a decision to make a sacrifice and allow those people to do whatever they're doing for the greater good of your strategy.
That's it. And as always, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you like it, you might as well share it. And if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button.